When working in childcare and health and social care, you are these children's first educator. So you're helping the children to understand the very basic concepts of English and maths. You are helping them learn how to um, build sandcastles, following your instructions, mix colours to do their paintings. You're constantly talking, you're correcting the language that they use. You're helping them to add up and count their bears. There's lots of different things that you do at a very early stage with these children to help them learn. In health healthcare, you're helping residents in care homes to do all kinds of things. You're helping them with um, continuing to have conversations. You're um, working with crosswords with them. There's lots of different things that you do that do, does cover English and maths throughout the time that you're working with them. Also, if you're filling in urine output charts, you're taking blood pressure, temperatures, all of those things work together to be English and maths without you realising it. When working in a classroom as a teaching support, you are supporting the children to get their spelling correct, you're helping them to form their letters, to write on the line. All of this is very, very important. And as well as developing the children's skills, it develops yours in turn to help you succeed further with your GCSE work. Hello, my name is Leko Adesoya, one of the lecturers at Darlington College teaching GCSE mathematics and functional skills mathematics. Why is math important in engineering and motor vehicle profession? Engineering and motor vehicle profession covers a wide scope of the mathematical curriculum. For example, geometry is used in autom automotive engineering to calculate the distances between two parts and the angle required to make sure parts are in the right place. Electrical engineering Electrical engineers use math in many ways in their careers. They use math to help design and test electrical equipment. They use math to calculate hump and vote requirement for electrical projects. They also use math in creating computer simulations and designs for new products. Motor vehicle practitioners use math skills consistently to calculate formula, averages, formatting, calculating percentages and adding charts. And I think this is the reason why so many of my friends in the field tell me if they knew how valuable math skills are, they would have put more effort in the math while they were in school. Hello, my name's Charlotte and I am a maths and English tutor at Darlington College. So today I'm going to talk to you about the importance of knowing your maths and English when it comes to contextualising within your own vocational subject. So the subject I'm going to look at is hair and beauty and also a bit of construction. So if you think when you're working with hair and beauty and you are going to either colour somebody's hair or colour somebody's eyebrows, you have two parts that you have to mix together. Now, those two parts are mixed in a ratio. So obviously knowing your ratio and how your ratio works is very vital to knowing for when it comes to mixing your colours within the hair and beauty industry. It's also important for the English side of things to be able to read and understand instructions. As you know, with all products, it comes with directions of use. So being able to read properly and understand these is one big help for you. And then also as well, if you think of the construction industry, if you think, oh, let's go and mix some cement. Again, ratio comes into play as you mix three different parts on different ratios. So it could be asking you to mix 150 litres of cement, but then it's telling you that you need to use the ratio of three, two and one. Again, reading instructions is very handy to have when working within construction, being able to do and look at scale drawings, looking at different plans. So again, maths and English is shown to be important within all subjects. Thank you. 
Hi, my name is Shanna and I'm one of the maths lecturers at Darlington College. Today I'm going to talk to you about how maths and English is beneficial for business and IT. So first of all, we're going to talk about maths. Um, let's start with business. So if you um, are doing business as your qualification, you might be interested in things like marketing. Now marketing um, involves quite a lot of maths because uh, there are a lot of costs involved and um, you need to be able to budget, you need to be able to put your marketing strategies out there within a certain budget, you need to know how much things cost and you need to be able to work all these things out as part of your role. Also, um, if you were wanting to go down the accounting side of business, um, that kind of speaks for itself. There are lots of, um, there's lots of maths needed for accounting. Uh, you know, there's balance sheets, you've got your opening balance, your closing balance. You need to know how much is coming in and how much is going out. And um, you need to know that if you, um, owe money to somebody if you can afford it you need to know about your cash flow this all means that you need um to have a good maths understanding all right um and if we were good going to consider about english um when you're going marketing you need to be able to communicate effectively with your clients um, to find out what they want and sometimes um, they will tell you their vision you need to be able to listen to that and understand it and be able to then put that into a marketing strategy because that's what they're going to pay you for and um, likewise with accounting and um, you could be doing other people's books you could be doing um, your own company's books it's important that you're able to communicate what those findings show so English is really really important when it comes to business uh, for ICT um, maths is really widely used when you um, have ICT. It um, is used in coding. Obviously, you need to be able to take from base 10, which is the base we use, which is the um, units we use now, and convert it into a binary, which is base two. Um, you then, if you were to work for a company and you uh, had to give, be given instructions from your boss, you have to be able to follow those instructions. So this is where your English comes in. You need to be able to understand, you need to be able to relay it. Um, if they ask you to change the change the layout of something you need to be able to do this and this all comes with um your basic maths and english skills okay thanks this year me and becky teach english and maths to the level two and level three catering students so we wanted to discuss why are english and math skills important in a catering environment yeah so a lot of these topics you guys will have seen before, hopefully, if you're doing GCSE maths. You know, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, you guys use that every day. Um, a lot of things like problem solving. So when it comes to maybe um, you're working in the pantry and you want to estimate the future use of um, stock for different recipes and make sure that nothing extra needs to be ordered in, you know, that is using your problem solving skills. You might be working on fractions and percentages. So you might be thinking about, okay, tonight in the restaurant, we are going to have 50% capacity from the coach trip and we know what they're going to be ordering. 30% capacity from people who are staying in the hotel um, and they will have timed bookings to come in and 20% capacity of walking guests and they're going to be ordering off that a la carte. These are things you need to be thinking about. You'll be doing lots of measuring to make sure that all of your ingredients are right for your recipes. You might need to be doing um, conversions, so converting from milliliters into liters, depending on what you know kind of recipe it is that you're doing. And especially important for you guys is ratio and proportion. So for your recipes, they might say these are for ten people, um, but actually, you know, you've got fifty people coming in the restaurant. You need to know how to scale those up and scale those down. What about for English, Gemma? So the first thing everybody thinks of um, when talking about English in a practical environment is communication. And obviously that's really important in catering, communicating with your staff, communication in the kitchens, um, even the way you speak to customers, the way you serve people, that's all really important. Um, sometimes, well, this is what I've heard from the catering students, you can be working in a very fast paced, you can be working in a very, you know, sometimes stressful environment where things need to get done. So communication is incredibly important. When it comes to writing creatively and formally, it's really important for things like promotions and your recipes and your marketing that you can put things across in, you know, the correct way. Um, writing creatively, if you can use your imagination on how to sell things to people, that's going to work 
for you massively when it comes to marketing and promoting your products. Um, there's a lot of <coughs> reading skills that we cover in English, like evaluation, comparing, analysis. And like Becky said about problem skills, they're things you'll use every day without realizing that you're doing that. Um, evaluation is especially important. If you can you know, weigh up the pros and cons and think what went well with this, what could have been better? If you can critically evaluate something, that's going to really help your practice. Absolutely. Um, you know, these skills are getting used all the time, day to day in catering environments. So hopefully our catering students will know where they're going to apply these now um, and they're going to use that information to um, work super hard at their GCSE work and make sure that they get that grade four. Hi, I'm Alex and I'm going to tell you why the English language is essential for your trade. Even after Brexit, the English language is still the most common form of communication throughout Europe. La lingua franca, or the bridge language, is continuing to be the preferred language with 44% of the people in Europe being able to speak it. So if you want a job somewhere else, the ever-changing automobile industry has grown enormously and is now an industry that is one of the world's largest economic sectors when based on revenue. One of the criteria to becoming a professional in the industry is that you need to be able to maneuver the English language first in order to communicate effectively. You need these skills to communicate with employers or employees, customers or partners, colleagues, etc. in various ways. Spoken or written, the English language is the only way to transmit information. And from a financial point of view, it can only increase your earnings. But the question is, do you want a better paid job? Because if you do, you have to use the English language at a professional level. When meeting in teams or remotely when negotiating using jargon or professional vocabulary. Presenting information in a clear and effective manner. Dealing with numerical data or working within a budget or planning. Through telephones or online meetings to discuss information, ask or answer questions keeping in contact and networking, having to use written English to communicate information through emails or letters, reports, reviews, receipts, promoting your business, etc. Being able to read and understand textual information from any type of text. Do you think English is important to you? Music